This is Father Matthew Kozlowski speaking to you from St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Stewart, Florida, talking to you today about Ascension Day and the Ascension of Jesus. In Luke chapter 24, it says, Jesus led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. Well, why am I standing up on a desk to talk to you about Ascension Day, which is officially tomorrow, Thursday? Well, it's because it's kind of a strange story, isn't it? Jesus uh, rising up into the sky. It even looks strange when it's depicted in works of art, like this church fresco. You've got the disciples looking on, and then look, uh, two Jesus feet sort of rising up into the clouds. And you're saying, come on, Jesus rising up into the clouds? Uh, some kind of science fiction movie, this must just be some sort of fairy tale. Well, first of all, it might have happened, but regardless of the kind of geographical movement of Jesus, ascension is really about the position that Christ took on 40 days after Easter and the position that he inhabits now within the framework of the spiritual reality that we exist in. Um, I'll put it this way. Let's say you got a new job at a company and you took on that post. Somebody might say you ascended to that position. And it wouldn't be about what office you were working in. It would be about the role that you have and um, oftentimes the authority that you have in that new role. Well, we say that Christ took on authority through his ascension uh, to the right hand of the Father, we say in the creeds. And that means he has authority over heaven and earth. What does he do with that authority? Well, here's where it gets really good. In Romans chapter 8, St. Paul says that Christ is constantly interceding for us. Now, that's an analogy from the courtroom, from legal terminology. If you're in court, you need a lawyer to advocate for you, to intercede for you. Well, because of the ascension, we are able to have Jesus interceding for us. To bring it all back home to something you might recognize, you may have heard a Christian pray, through Jesus Christ we pray, amen, or in Jesus' name we pray, amen. The idea of prayers being carried through Christ unto God is a really bedrock uh, proposition within Christian theology, and without the ascension, we just wouldn't have that. So I think that's really interesting, and it's certainly a lot more powerful than uh, just two feet being carried up into the clouds. I wish you a blessed Ascension Day, and this is Father Matthew Kozlowski signing off.